Midday closing arguments are underway in the Erica Jenkins murder trial. Jenkins, the sister of Nico Jenkins, is charged in the 2013 shooting death of Curtis Bradford. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Andrea Flores is live at the Douglas County Courthouse, where she has been in court all morning. Andrea, good afternoon. Can you tell us what is the latest? Good afternoon, Dan. Well, today we're hearing closing statements from both the prosecution and defense. The prosecution began today's closing statements, citing why they believe Erica Jenkins is guilty of murder in the first degree. They say detailed witness testimony from three of Erica's relatives, including two of her sisters and her cousin, are consistent with DNA and forensic testing, crime scene evidence, and phone records. They called their credibility, quote, a family affair, citing Lori Sales in the car with Erica the night of the shooting, one-on-one -on -one conversations between Melanie and Erica Jenkins and cousin Brian Easterling, whose house Erica and Nico ran to after the shooting. But during the defense's closing statements, they say the Jenkins family has a long history of being dishonest with authorities, saying their testimonies were, quote, untrustworthy, inconsistent with evidence, and a result of self-preservation to stay out of jail. Both Sales and Melanie Jenkins have pending charges. They also say there is no solid proof of DNA evidence, clothing, or a weapon tying Erica to the murder. Now, court will resume today after lunch, and jury deliberation will continue throughout the rest of the day. Stay with KMTV Action 3 News tonight at 5 and 6 for the very latest on this case. Reporting live from the Douglas County Courthouse, Andrea Flores, KMTV Action 3 News. Andrea, thanks for that report.